Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a full test and review of the new Navamo i105 robotic lawnmower made by Segway. This thing is supposed to be jam-packed with all kinds of features and capabilities. I am dying to get this thing started, so stay tuned. So first and foremost, I just want to say that Segway did give me this Navamo robotic lawnmower to create this video, but I am going to give you my complete honest review on this. The Navamo i-series mower is available in two models, the i-105, which is this one, and the i-110. The i-105 is designed to do about an eighth of an acre, whereas the 110 is designed to do about a quarter of an acre. The only difference in the mowers is the size of the batteries and obviously the run time that that battery will give you. Other than that, these mowers are completely identical. So years ago when robotic lawn mowers first came out, they required you to bury a wire around the perimeter of your yard so that the robotic lawn mower knew where to go and where not to go. These newer lawn mowers now are completely controlled through GPS and satellite technology. So there's no more burying wires. It's very simple to set up. The Navamo can be completely controlled through an app on your phone or through a touch screen here on the mower itself. This mower is built with lots of safety features so that it doesn't run over or run into anything. It has cameras and different sensors and even bump sensors in case it does accidentally hit something. It also features an emergency stop button right here on top that way, in case something ever happens, all you have to do is hit this button and everything comes to a complete halt. The mowing height is adjusted here, right on top of the mower, just by turning this dial. Other mowers have it controlled through your app where it does it electronically. I like this because it's more direct and you can just visually look at your mower and know exactly what height you're cutting your lawn. This mower features really large rubber tractor-like tires that are about nine or 10 inches in diameter which we're gonna give you plenty of grip to climb and maneuver around your yard without any issues. It gives you a seven and a half inch cutting width with these double-sided razor-like blades that spin. These mowers are designed to mow your lawn often and take just a little bit off the top of your grass and mulch it directly back into your lawn. Mowing your lawn often and only taking off a little bit and mulching it is the healthiest way to maintain your lawn. And let's face it, most of us don't have time to mow our lawns multiple times during the week. And now with a robotic lawn mower, I'm able to mow my lawn up to five times a week. So let's get into an unboxing video and I'm gonna show you all the parts and pieces that come with it and then we'll get into setting it up. The entire mower arrived in one simple box. Everything was very well packaged. There's not a lot of parts and pieces that you'll have to get involved with. Here you have the charging station, the mower itself, some very well put together instructions. This is a canopy for the mowing charging station. And then there's all the smaller parts and pieces, which include wiring and the GPS station. Segway is also nice enough to include a couple of accessories when they sent this to me. Uh, this is a uh, added receiver for 4G that you plug into the mower. I'll show you how that connects, which will give your mower uh, added capabilities of connecting um, without just going through your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or GPS. They also sent me this receiver extension kit, which comes with a very long extension cable for your GPS receiver and even a mounting kit, which allows you to mount this to a structure or your house somewhere near your roof line so that you get extended coverage from satellite and GPS in case you're in an area with a lot of tree coverage. Now let's go ahead and set everything up. The first thing you're going to want to do is secure the base plate to the ground. You'll want to make sure this is very secure because the mower itself is going to be driving into this to charge itself. Then you'll want to attach the charging station hood and then assemble the pole for the GPS station. It has these spikes that you attach to the bottom and then you basically screw in 
the GPS receiver at the top. This is the only thing I actually needed a screwdriver for. Firmly secure it to the ground, and then there's only a couple of wiring connections. One is for power, and the other one is for the GPS station. The setup is really simple and very clean looking. Now let's install that 4G receiver if you so opted to buy that accessory. Simply remove a panel on the bottom of the mower and the 4G receiver just plugs in to the cable that's provided. You slide the receiver into the mower and replace the panel. This will give you the option of staying connected to your mower at all times and also add the bonus of security if it leaves the boundaries. Once everything's connected, simply dock the mower into the charging station and everything will start lighting up. Now it's time to set up the phone app. You'll want to make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi and within range of the mower for Bluetooth as well. You'll need to set up an account as well as go through all the steps involved in syncing the mower to the charging station. The app is very well put together. The people at Segway spent a lot of time making sure that the instructions are very clear with a lot of animated videos so that you could simply watch this if you didn't understand what you were doing. The entire setup process for the mower only took about 10 minutes. When the setup is done, the mower will actually go through a calibration process to understand where the charging station is. And once that's done, the mower will give you an opportunity to practice using the controls before you get into the detailed mapping of your boundaries. Now let's go ahead and map out a boundary in your yard. I decided to do a test area on the side of my lawn before I went ahead and mapped out my entire yard. This is just like using a video game with simple controls, forward, reverse, left and right. I myself do not have a lot of experience with video games, so I struggled a little bit to keep some detail on my boundaries. You'll want to stay about five or six inches away from the edges to give the mower some clearance in case it bumps into anything while it's mowing and going back and forth. Once your boundary is complete, you'll be able to set up for your first mow. Make sure your cutting height is adjusted as well as the direction of your mowing pattern. The Navamo will first start off by doing a complete edge cut around your boundary and then it will go ahead and fill in at the angle you chose. I really love the fact that this mower mowed nice straight lines as if it was a traditional mowing with a push mower. The angle of my cut was a little bit off, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix that later on. On its first attempt, the mower did about 2,000 square feet on one charge, and then it simply found its way back to the charging station to recharge the battery. So the Navamo did such an amazing job in the test area of my lawn. Now I'm gonna go ahead and map out the rest of my yard so that I can get the full experience. I simply mapped out more boundaries, just like I did in my test area, trying to stay as precise as I can. Then I went ahead and started mowing the rest of my yard. By the time I got going, it was starting to get a little bit dark out. But to my surprise, this mower has no issues with mowing at night. It does not need daylight to mow your lawn. It has headlights and it runs completely on GPS satellite. So nothing will stop this mower from mowing your yard, even in the dark. And because it's so quiet, you can do this 
without your neighbors ever complaining or knowing that your lawn is actually getting mowed at night. Just think of how great it would be to wake up first thing in the morning and your lawn is already mowed. Now with regards to cleaning the mower, it's completely waterproof, so don't be afraid to take out your hose and completely spray it down top to bottom. To test out some of the safety features in my yard, I took one of my daughter's toys and just placed it in front of the mower's path. It easily detected this and found its way around it, avoiding any contact. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about having a robot mow my lawn, but I must say there is something extremely satisfying about watching this thing in action. This is an incredible robotic lawnmower with lots of features and lots of technology, and it will make your life so much easier and give you all that free time to do all the things that you want to do. I have used other robotic lawnmowers in the past, and this one is by far the best one I've had my hands on yet. I can honestly say I don't have any major complaints about the Navamo i-Series mower. This thing performed exactly as it was promised to. The only thing I would change about this mower is the speed at which it ran when you were trying to map out your borders. I was having a little bit of difficulty trying to stay accurately around my complex boundaries, but other than that, it was easy to fix because it did give you the option to go back and erase mistakes. The i105 runs for about $1,000, whereas the i110 goes for about $1,200. I'll leave links below in my description for both of those mowers and all the options and accessories that come with it. So if you have a small yard and you are willing to spend $1,000 on a robotic lawnmower, the Segway Navamo i-Series is definitely the way to go. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys.